Cameron Good takes it for a touchdown. Pick six for the Bears. That's Kylie on the jet sweep. With a running lane, he was hammered. Ashton Davis. Over the middle. Too far. Intercepted. The fourth interception for Cal. It's a well-coached Cal defense. Well coached, and they got some ballers, including Jordan Konoshek, who is a senior captain. He's one of their linebackers, and he joins us here on Inside Pac-12 Football. Jordan, I really appreciate the time. Those some of those big plays. You guys have been killing it on the defensive end. Already seven interceptions on the year. You had 14 all of last year. 28 points per game is what you gave up. You guys are only giving up 19 right now. So please explain to me why you guys have had so much success. <laughs> Man, thank you, Mike. Uh, it's a pleasure being on here. Um, that, it's great seeing those highlights, too, man. It gives me the chills. It gets me all fired up. So, uh, you know, it just all comes down to our culture and uh, the culture that Coach Wilcox has developed here at Cal along with our strength and conditioning staff and Coach DeRuiter uh, and the rest of the defensive staff. Uh, we're a defense that is blue-collar. We're going to work hard every single day. Uh, we're going to take the ball away. We're going to focus on the little things. We're going to have great effort, and that's something um, that's stuff that we practice every single day. Uh, that's something that they've instilled within us, and we're doing our best to execute the game plan that they provide, and they've done a phenomenal job at doing that. And then uh, my teammates have done a phenomenal job of executing what they've been asking for us, and we're just we're having fun out there. We're playing well, and uh, it's, it's an exciting time right now. You, you actually, and that defense has been playing well. You, you put it best. I was actually on campus a couple weeks ago for a Leon Bridges concert, uh, coincidentally, and he was terrific. <laughs> but I, I keep seeing all these posters of, of the football team around campus with this hashtag, earn it. Explain to me the story behind that phrase. Yeah, so Earn It is a, a, our athletic campaign that's going around right now. And basically what it is is uh, here at Cal, um, being at such a prestigious university, um, it's hard to get into this school. Um, the teams we play are going to be difficult. And everything we got to do from winning games to uh, taking care of business in the classroom to the lifestyle we live, we have to earn. And that's something that um, has been raved around here. That's our campaign is Earn It. We, we must earn everything. Um, um, and nothing's, nothing's been given to us, uh, especially here at Cal. It's a, it's a prestigious university, and it, it ties into academics and uh, athletics. So everything we do, we just try to do a great job of um, earning it, and, and that's really everything. It's kind of a perfect phrase for you in particular because you, it, I want you to share your story because it's kind of fascinating here. You didn't have Power 5 offers initially. You, you had offers from other schools, Fresno State. In fact, uh, Coach DeRuiter was the <laughs> coach at the time, and now no. he's the defensive <laughs> coordinator there. But how did you end up with the Bears? Yeah, so I went to junior college. I went to American River College, and I ended up medical redshirting my first season. I ended up um, breaking my hand, and uh, it was just the best option for me to redshirt that season. So uh, my second year of junior college, which was my redshirt freshman year, um, I ended up having a, a pretty good season and ended up having some div Division One offers uh, going into signing day. However, none of them were Power Five, and I knew in the bottom of my heart that I was capable of playing Power Five football playing in the Pac-12, and um, Coach Deruder and the staff at Fresno ended up extending an offer, and it was a great opportunity. I ended up having the opportunity to go on an official visit to Colorado, um, and then a day before Col before my Colorado visit, Cal ended up extending an offer, and and then I ended up uh, going on my visit. Great place. Uh, ended up going on an official visit to Cal that following weekend, and then just my heart, my gut, everything told me to go. To Cal, so um, that's how I ended up at Cal, and it's it's honestly been the best decision I've ever made in my life uh, yeah. to be at this institution, number one public university, um, as well as the the culture that we're developing here, some of the people I've met. It's uh, it's been phenomenal, and I'm extremely blessed and grateful. Talked to Coach Saruta the other day. He brought you up, and he loves having you uh, on this roster right now. You have you kind of epitomize what it means to be a Cal Bear with uh, and and really living up to that motto that you guys talk about. That earn it. Uh, I, I do have to ask you because I saw something that was pretty interesting to me because there's been a lot of positives to take away from your team's defense and the performances that we've seen through these first couple weeks of the season. How are you guys rewarded in Monday morning meetings? 
<laughs> yeah, so uh, Monday after the game, we go through uh, some of our goals, uh, our third down percentages, uh, what was the offensive third down, uh, their fourth down percentage, uh, how many yards we gave up, just all the, all the numbers of the previous game. And then after that, he pulls up the takeaways. So if we have any takeaways, if we have any sacks, any deflections, anything like that, anything that uh, makes an impact on the game, uh, we get rewarded with the Snickers. And the cool thing about the <laughs> Snickers is they have little, uh, it, it says something on it. So for instance, one of them says interception or another one says deflection or sacked or something like that. So it's a cool little incentive to get Snickers for uh, doing some, you know, making a big play in the game. I, I like it. And Jordan, just so you know, when you become 36 like me, those Snickers bars, they say get on the <laughs> treadmill um, and keep on grinding because they're going to be sitting in yeah, that some, stomach for sometimes a while. I give those yeah, sometimes I give those to uh, some of the DBs or some of the people who need uh, Yeah, those, those weight, DBs, so. they could put on a couple of LBs, I'm sure. <laughs> hey, Jordan, really appreciate the time, man. Congrats on the success already this season. Stay healthy, and we cannot wait to see you guys throughout the course of the season. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mike. It's a pleasure, man. Go Bears.